What is going on guys, Mega HD here and welcome back. Today I am back with some epic GTA tips and tricks on how you can get your car out of the impound lot without any cops. This is a fairly easy tutorial but will most benefit you if you've got a large car or maybe a slow car or maybe you just can't be bothered getting away from the police or at any point during the day. You just don't feel like handling all the cops. I know I get those moments where I'm like, ah, police, go away. So I guess if you're one of those people, stay tuned for this tutorial. Alright, so first off, in this quick guide, you do actually need your car to be impounded in the lot. Mine currently isn't, I know it's a little bit of a shitty car, but I'm about to put it in the lot now. So you've come to this video thinking, how can I get my car out of the impound lot for free without getting wasted and getting a little bit annoyed with the cops? Well, here we go. So as you can see, I died and my car was impounded in the lot. So I'm going to go call a cab now and uh, get driven down to the lot so I can go pick it up without getting a wanted level. In order for this to work, you can't go and take another one of your cars down to the lot. And you can't steal, a well you could steal another car, but you know, you might get in trouble for like stealing another car. So I'd recommend just either walk in, cycling, or um, you know, be very cautious and stealing a car. Or do what I'm doing and taking a taxi. Alright, so once you arrive at the impound lot, what you need to do is you need to go right round to where the car park is on the left hand side of the impound lot and run up the ramp. So once you're at the top of the ramp, you want to go down to the second bench, make sure it's the second bench or you'll end up getting seen by a lot of cops and probably dying. Make sure you go to the second bench here, just climb over the wall um, and try to land on like, preferably the little power unit box there, but you know, I just jumped over a little bit early and end up getting a two star wanted level. It's fine, you know, you can just jump up the wall really quickly. Uh, no cops see you, I mean, I'm just messing around here, I have no idea what I'm doing, jumping into a wall. But you want to jump over onto the helipad just up here. Really simple, uh, as you can see, I had took no damage on the cops there. And uh, the funny thing is, the cops can't actually get up here. So, you know, that door you saw then, uh, isn't actually a door, it's just one of those fake doors that they have in GTA. Uh, so the cops can't get up here, so you'll be perfectly fine on a two star wanted level, just wait it out until it's disappeared. And you'll literally be able to go run down off the side here and uh, just go get your car. Alright, so you do actually have to jump off here and, you know, end up getting severe brain damage, but you know, that doesn't actually affect you, fortunately, it just affects your GTA character. So once you've got severe brain damage, then you'll just mysteriously put yourself back up and run over through the gate here and you'll see your car somewhere in here. Mine was just here, I got in straight away. Obviously it's this little rubbish car that I had before. No cops on me, you can just drive it out whatsoever, they don't see you. And that's pretty much it. If you did like the video and you did find it helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm nearly at 5,000 subscribers, so I need all the support I can get right now, so please subscribe. And finally, for anybody who's interested, this was actually recorded entirely through the Xbox One. So if the graphics look a little bit shabby, that's probably why. I've been back in HD, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.